Hello, I am making raw brownies this morning and thought I would show you how I do it. It's quick and easy. These are actually going to be the base for a cheesecake for a birthday. We have something like seven or eight birthdays in two months plus our anniversary and Mother's Day. And so we just celebrate all spring long. Um, so what I've done, you could view an eight by eight pan. Put some parchment paper in the bottom of that. I'm using a spring form pan. So I put parchment on the bottom and then I put these strips of paper on the sides just to keep everything from sticking to the sides. Um, and so what I'm going to do is make up our brownie in a food processor, spoon it into there, press it all down and chill it. And then I'm going to make a cheesecake to go on top of that. Not for our video today, maybe for another video. And for you, you would just press it all down into an eight by eight form and chill until it's ready to go. Anyway, it's delicious, quick and easy. And you could even add some chocolate chips to it. I'm not going to today. Um, these are some simple truths, 72% um, cacao. Um, if you are dairy free, make sure that there is no whey or casein in there. And so what I'm going to start with is two cups of almond flour. Now I do buy my almond flour. Um, I have made it before, um, just after making almond milk, I will save the pulp and dehydrate it and then grind that up as almond flour. Um, today I'm using two cups. Almond flour can get kind of expensive. This is a Bob's Red Mill. That, this is a half cup measuring cup, so I have half. One cup, cup and a half, and two cups. And I'm using almond flour because I am allergic to wheat, so I didn't want to use regular flour. You could always grind some almonds if you do. They do have a lot of um, oil in them. And so you might want to reduce the peanut butter that we're adding. These are going to have peanut butter in them. I'm also making a peanut butter cheesecake for the top. All right, so two cups of almond flour. Now I'm going to put in a half a cup of cocoa powder. Cocoa actually has lots of antioxidants in it. Half a cup of that. Then I want a half a cup of peanut butter. This peanut butter is peanuts and 1% or less salt. That's all that is in this peanut butter. Make sure you read your labels. A lot of peanut butter has added oils. Um, sometimes it will have one or two kinds of oils. Uh, it usually has palm oil. And the person I am making this for, it is his birthday this weekend, and his, he is totally addicted to peanuts. And so I thought, all right, raw brownies made with peanut butter with some cheesecake with a little bit of peanut butter will be right up his alley. Perfect for his birthday. All right, I'm going to pour that into the food processor. I keep my peanut butter in the refrigerator. We stir it really well, because um, if you ever buy natural peanut butter, you know that it can separate. And so the first time we open it, we just stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it till it's completely combined. And then we keep it in the refrigerator so it will stay mixed together like that. Let me move peanut butter out of the way. I am going to add a half a cup of maple syrup and a quarter cup of water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my water on. I'm putting these in in this order because if you have ever used on a quarter cup of maple syrup, if you have ever used a food processor with flour or something in it, sometimes that flour can shoot out the sides. So I'm thinking if I just wet all of the flour and the cocoa powder down, maybe that will keep that from happening. So I have a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of maple syrup.
and a half teaspoon of salt. Um, depending on how salty your peanut butter is, um, you may want to adjust that salt. Alright, hopefully I have everything turned on. Here we go. I'm just going to pulse a few times and then I'm going to blend it until it's smooth. And another tip is I could have, not, luckily none of the flowers shot out, I could lay a dish towel over the top. That way if flour or something comes out, then it doesn't go everywhere. All right. I am just going to have a little bit of peanut butter left on the spoon. I want all the peanut butter. I'm going to scrape down the sides. You can see it turned into a dough ball already. Mmm, that would be delicious, broken up into some dairy-free ice cream. Oh, it smells so good. I just want to eat it. All right. Pulse it one more time. There we go. Get everything out of the way so you can see what I am doing. I have my pan. I'm going to dump my dough on top of my parchment paper. My sides are kind of, I shouldn't have touched them. They're kind of flipping out. And it probably wouldn't stick to the sides. I'm just doing it just to make sure we don't have any issues when it's time to eat the cheesecake. And so what if you were making these just for brownies, just line your 8x8 eight eight, um, pan. Or you could even do a round cake pan. You're going to scoop all of the dough in. I'm going to pulse one more time to get all of the dough off of the blades. You can see I just have a little bit left on the bottom there. Don't want to miss a bit of this chocolate deliciousness. And if you store your almond flour in the freezer, you'll want to bring it to room temperature. I do keep mine in the freezer, but this was a brand new, brand new pack. Um, but you want to bring it to room temperature or it will absorb more liquid. You may have to add more water or maple syrup um, if it's still cold. All right, so I can press with my fingers. Usually what I do, and I did not today, I will just tear off another piece of parchment paper and press with the parchment paper. Actually, I think I will go and do that real quick. I'll get another piece of parchment real quick and be right back with you. Okay, this is the recyclable parchment paper. You can see it's slightly different color. Um, I do like to use it, but it does stick a little more. So whenever I'm using something that may stick, this would not stick. I, I could have used the recyclable parchment paper, but I didn't. Not recyclable, compostable. I wish I had smell a vision. You could just smell this. Whew. I want to eat it. There we have it. Our brownie looks delicious. If you're making them as brownies, sprinkle a couple of chocolate chips on top and press in the top or melt some chocolate chips and pour it on the top, drizzle it on the top, just make an icing with it. That would be delicious. Anyway, if you make these, let me know. Post in the comments below. Send me a photo. Like and subscribe my, to my videos. And um, let me know what you think. Enjoy!